Could it be a more ominous day to color my hair? I'm feeling real at peace today. It's a real blessing. I did not feel this way earlier or the last few days or 24 hours or even the last week. But you know what? Right now, of course, as I say it, I can feel a little bit of jitters popping up. But for the most part, I'm feeling pretty at peace and and content. So I'm really grateful for that going into today's video. This has just been weighing on my mind and I am so ready for this. If you guys were not here for my most recent videos, we actually bleached this and then I re-bleached the Ritz again within the same week. So I'll link those two videos down below if you want to catch up on that. And there's a few goofy videos in between where we're just hanging out. So, And then there's also when we went to Sally's and got this color. If you guys watch Sally's video or you subscribe. And if you're not subscribed, please do hang out with the rest of us. So a lot of you maybe have been guessing or wondering since I didn't show you guys what we bought at Sally's. But... I am nervous and you're going to see why in just a second because it's not the road I was going down. But don't worry, no matter what happens with this, in less than a month, we're still going to re-bleach. I'm going to, except for this time, we're going to strip it all out because I'm going all over rainbow. I've been planning it for a while and it's something that I'm dead set on doing. And, you know, I change my hair every month when I re-bleach. So that's what's going to happen regardless of how this goes. So I'm saying challenge accepted. I, I love the underdog and I love new things I haven't tried and I love that this has a lot of uh, different opinions going on out there. So here we go, drum roll. Well, there's probably no drum roll. Pretend dra Travis Barker's drum rolling for us because Blink-182 shaped my childhood. I love them. Ready? Doo -doo -doo -doo. Good die young. I haven't taken these out of the bag yet. So I haven't even looked at these next to each other since I left the store. They've been sitting in the bag. Good die young. So this I've never tried. It's not that I didn't want to. It's just not where I was gravitating towards yet. I was walking in ready for manic panic vids that I wanted their amplifieds or really just maybe some, I haven't actually tried. I've only tried one Arctic Fox. So there was just a lot and the, there was so many colors you guys saw. I did have a general color direction in mind I was going and I wanted high contrast. So I can walk you through while we check these colors out and actually get the true hue because we all know that the color in the boxes are not what they seem. You can instantly see why. We got this awesome level 10 and I've never gotten a level 10 and here and I go and I get darker days. So not only is this darker than the Vivid's colors I wanted to go for this time, I just didn't realize that not only was it dark, it was like dark. It's going to be a dark, dark. So, I mean, it's okay. I, I'm still going to go with my original plan on why I wanted the contrast. I know I haven't told you guys what it is because, you know, I got to keep a little mystery. But this is, this on the box is one of the colors I was definitely kind of going for, for our color transitioning. Awesome, amazing employees there. Uh, one of them, uh, she was help. one of them, she was helping me. Just kind of, you know, get creative, look at, you know, look through the colors, get ideas. And as we're talking, uh, she brings up that, you know, the Eero Eero. Is it Iro, Iro, or Eero, Eero, Eero? I can never decide. I just always call it Eero, Eero. I've used them a lot. And that was actually one of the yellows I used recently. And I really enjoyed, I've really enjoyed it. Uh, but according to her, none of those colors stay in her hair well at all. And that she just does, she does not like the Euro Euro. And as, so as we get to talking, I'm, and she tells me her actual favorite out of all the colors on the wall that is her absolute just go to right now is the Good Die Young. And so that instantly got my attention. I guess I can start opening these while we talk because I'm so excited. I just I need to try to multitask. There's just been a lot of controversy, you know, online and things like that as far as the brand goes because they reformulated and this and that and yes i should say this the brand good day young uh the singer paramore i'm sure that's how everyone introduces it i honestly for a long time didn't know that and you know i listen to paramore uh, that's just an interesting little thing i just i guess i should put that out there just in case you you don't know that you know she's got the uh, the signature red hair and i guess her and i think her stylist developed this and so now it's been reformulated uh, because I, I, I'm assuming, I've never tried this, but I, from what I've gathered uh, back, at, back in the day, um, people just weren't quite happy with it. And so whatever that controversy was, here we are 
now and it's been reformulated. All that aside, it's not that I didn't want to try them. It's just when I looked, I just didn't really see any of the colors that I was wanting. And then as she's talking, I'm like, okay, you know what? That's a sign. Uh, that's a sign right there. I'm going to check out those colors. So as I'm looking at this color, I was originally only going to go in and get one color. You know, because I had to budget right now. Just things are super, super tight. Uh, then there just happened to be a deal. 50% off. I had a 25% off. So, I mean, I got both of these in $19 maybe after tax or something like that. And originally, I think they were like $18, $18.99 or something each. So, I got a great deal. And it was almost like a sign to get two. And I'm like, well, if I'm going to try these out and I've never tried them and we're going to go hard like that, I might as well get two from them, you know, and use the same brand together. So as her and I are talking, I'm talking about how I want a lot of contrast. And she she really wanted this narwhal one to be involved. And I was drawn to it too. I couldn't, I could not seem to ungravitate from this. So we went with that. Now this, when this bad boy came in the picture, it just, same thing as we're talking, I just kept, she and she kind of kept looking at it too. And, and another one, I can't remember the name, was sold out. I think maybe Blue Rune, but I have a hundred blues here. And I was really trying to go more blue green, not straight green. Cause I'm trying to move. I've had the green, different green hair for over a year now. And uh, as much as I love it, and this is really uh, hard for me to let it go. I just am ready to keep going. My, we might gravitate back to it. I'm not done with it. I'm just ready to go a whole different direction. I need to change. So here we are, high contrast. And the packaging is great. She also said it's amazing for your hair, and that's a big part of it. Now, I'm going to tell you guys right now, looking at the reviews online, it was not promising. So the Narwhal, all in all, online reviews on their website, it, it didn't get bad reviews. So I'm not too scared about that. Now, when I looked up the Move Mountains, this seems to be the underdog. It seems to be very hated. It seems to be that most people liked it before it was reformulated. And this is uh, just what I'm getting from their comments on the Good Die Young website. So a lot of people were complaining that the first one was like a blue green teal, dark teal, and they wanted a forest green. And I'm thinking, well, good, I wanted the blue green teal. So maybe this was, that's why the universe picked it for me. It's just gonna be dark and we could always lighten it up with some conditioner. Like I'm ready to take the challenge, like challenge accepted. So I'm just, I'm down for this. I'm like, I'm just really right in the path of faith, you know, and I'm going with it and like, what'll be, what'll be. And so as I'm reading these reviews, I literally have not opened it yet. So this must be the reformulated because I think the old packaging looked different uh, online. Maybe it had like black or something. Uh, and so as I read the reviews, a lot of people saying they don't like the new reformulated one because it's forest green and they like the blue green teal. One of the, and so, and so then from there, it's real back and forth. It's 50, 50. One lady said she had to spend $600 to correct her hair because it's worse than splat and wouldn't come out of her hair and this and that. Uh, so that scares me. But like I said, challenge accepted. So the more I read about this color from their line specifically reformulated or not, it seems like it's going to be real dark. It is a darker days, obviously. So that's my bad. But like I said, I wanted high contrast for the sectioning I'm doing. I wanted a real high contrast. So I guess that's about it. I'm way too excited. I really want to get into it. Basically, I'm scared because it's really dark and I'm wanting to go neon rainbow light 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 level 10 hair in less than a month but this is why we're here if i would have backed out and went back in then what what life am i living what fun where's the excitement right not playing it safe we can do so i'm excited let's get in let's just get into it and so i can already see and even she noted which is absolutely correct the box is never going to look like what comes out of here and even when it's on your hair sometimes it's not going to come out that way Always make sure your hair is porous when doing vivids. There is a way to check. You just, uh, you know, you'll want to put some color on. And if it kind of slides right off, you might need to just do like a, I don't know, what is it? A clarifying shampoo, something like that. Uh, we can get more into that kind of stuff if you guys want. Right now, I'm just really itching to, to get to the next part and get it in. Maybe we'll chat about that while I'm putting the actual color in. But I guess there's really not much else to say on that. Just basically try to make your hair, hair as porous. Make sure that it's kind of more open. Don't have any product on it because you're going to want the color just to soak into your hair. But we can get into that another time. I really just wanted a mellow, just a mellow, chill day. Hang out with you guys. 
So you can already tell me why they were upset. This actually, yeah, looks forest green and this looks teal. Just move mountains. The super underdog. It seems to be the most hated color I've seen on there. And then we got the narwhal. Which it had, when I looked these colors up online, the packaging is really fun. There's a lot of words going on in there. Get right to the point on the side. Hair healthy, vegan, cruelty free, clean essential oils, sunflower extract, sustainable. We're in Nashville. There's a, there's a lot of words going on inside. By the way, speaking of a lot going on, my ring light uh, actually came broken, which is fine. It actually Timu instantly refunded me with credit, but it is what it is. Like I said, I'm just trying to have a nice relaxing day. So these actually look different instantly on the box. This looks more blue and this looks a lot more teal. I know looking at my hair instantly, I know that we it's all different colors. That's why I picked these colors on purpose. I'm really wanting them to kind of, um, I have a plan, but I also kind of want to be surprised, you know? So I like that there's all these different greens and yellows and then this, this like level 10 going on. And I wanted a lot of contrast. So that's all fun, fun. Actually, this is going to be the real fun part. I'm going to bring you guys down so we can see this unfold together. All right, so this is the Move Mountains. I want to get a real good idea what we're working with because I don't know if I'm going to put... That's real dark. I don't know if I'm going to add any conditioner. It's going to depend on what it looks like next to the narwhal. So this is the Move Mountains. Very dark. This is a new formula. It's definitely looking to me like a really kind of dark forest green. I can kind of see the teal in there. Definitely very dark. I hope that this plate is helping you really see the color here. It's just so dark, my goodness. That was Move Mountains. Now we're gonna go in with the narwhal. We're going with the narwhal. Our wall actually looks dark right away as well. Uh, so yeah, it's. I'm still gonna go through with it, but this is absolutely a lot different than I was expecting. I didn't know what vivids I was gonna pick out, but I didn't. I wasn't meaning to go this dark. This narwhal is actually very dark as well. I wonder if they're both in the darker line. It doesn't say that the darker, uh, darker days on the narwhal. But it was right next to the Move Mountains. And this is very dark. Wow. Interesting next to each other. Yeesh. This is a very, very dark blue going on here. And definitely a forest green. Hmm. I'm not seeing the high contrast that I want, to be honest with you. I think I'm going to put these into my... Uh, bowls here with some conditioner and see what these look like a little lighter. I'm going through with it no matter what. I just was hoping for a little bit, one of these to have a little bit more contrast. So let me kind of put some conditioner down. This is actually, and just so you guys know, this formula seems really thick and I have really thick hair. So it's actually going to go a lot longer of a way if I add conditioner because, oh my gosh, like with how thick this is, Trying to put that on my thick hair. Oh my gosh. So yeah, that's going to also be a factor in me lightening this up. Because that is just so dark. Ah, it's like black dark. We're going to use these colors. We're going to do it. But now you see why I was nervous. So we're going to use these colors. It's just not what I was expect expecting at all. Let me just make sure. I can't. I couldn't see the light where you guys were. So you see... So right next to each other, though, they might blend in more than I wanted them to on my hair. I wanted more contrast than that. I made the mistake with that with blue ones, and I had a light blue and a dark blue. And at the end of the day, it had highlights, but I, I wanted it to be more, have more contrast and pop out more. So now that the blue is drying, the narwhal is drying, it is getting like a lighter, almost like an anime blue. But on here, it looks like it does look like a true teal on the plate almost. It's not an electric teal, you know, not a neon teal. I went in thinking neons in my head, and I think I need to move past that and just use what's in front of me and be creative. I, I, it's just like in life, you know, you get stuck in your head on one thing, and it's like where you could just go with a new plan. So we're going with a new plan. I'm going to mix these up really quick. 
Hello, beautiful people. Here's a, a mess. That's the Move Mountains. I did that. Uh, <laughs> that's the Move Mountains. Very dark. This is the narwhal. I added some root to end replenishing hair mask. It said it's supposed to condition hair and helps it retain moisture. So I'm hoping this will help the color like soak into my hair, if that makes any sense. Since that's what it's programmed to do. It's so dark. I wish that we were live right now so you guys could tell me whether you wanted me to just throw this on dark like this. Since we're gonna be stripping it out anyways. This is so thick, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's like a ball. It's like a ball. Ugh, it's like putty. It's too thick. All right, we're going to need a lot more conditioner. Give me a minute. I'm going rogue. Good thing I still have full tubes because this stuff's so dark. It doesn't have that high contrast I wanted. Dark definitely will, but next to the narwhal, it's just so dark. It's just so dark. I don't want it to look like I just have black on black hair. But this that's all that this is giving. It's just dark. Ugh, am I going to get over this? At least it's thinner so I can put it on a lot easier. I wasn't going to be able to put it on that thick. I want to make sure I didn't change the color too much here. It's just that it was so thick. Okay, so I'm putting it over the old color here, and it's not too much. It's still the same color. It's just not as thick, because that was just insanely thick. I was not going to be able to get that on my head. Now we now we got something to work with. That's more going to work with my hair. If I regret this, the second I put it on, instead of salvaging my hair, we'll be busy trying to damage it. But that just means more hair videos with you guys, so I'm fine with it. I just, as long as I have the contrast I'm looking for, if I'm going to go this dark, as long as the other part I'm thinking of is going to be light enough to counteract this, I'm fine. Because in my head, sky's the limit with creativity, and I never expect my hair to come out exactly how I'm picturing it. All I'm asking is, from myself, is to give myself that contrast that I'm looking for. So we're going to see. I think uh, this color is doable for me. So I guess... Like I said, when I open them, they smell great and everything before I put the conditioner in. It's just so thick. And now I'm really wishing I would have that they would have had the Brando or the X Mondo Super Gloss there. Because I would have loved to put something like that in with this to thin it out. Or I'm sure, honestly, when the girl was talking to me about this line of hair color and goods I young in general. Like I said, this online review of this color in general just made it the underdog. So I'm going to see if I can un underdog it. Basically, I'm going to see because who doesn't love an underdog, right? That, that's how I'm trying to see this. But basically, when she started talking about the whole good die young line and she was asking me if I tried different different things from there, I was like, no, I actually haven't. Not any of it. She was talking about the hair care line or their care line, and just all kinds of stuff. So they probably have most of the line, the color lines do. They probably have, I'm going squirrel because I'm mixing colors at the same time, but they probably have, uh, what do you call it, what do you call it, what do you call it? I can't think. Oh, they probably have, and I'm almost 100% sure that they do. I'm sorry, I haven't checked. What am I showing you this for? But oh, they probably have an add-in like this where I believe what it is, is they use their same formula. They just don't put any pigment in it. So it would be nourishing for your hair and it would be the same stuff that it's already in their hair color. So they'd be using like the same product. That sounds like a win there. So I would have definitely, if they would have had that and I would have thought about it, but I was living in the moment. And that's why I just moved past what I was thinking going with it. Cause it, it was such a great experience. And I felt like she was really right there with me, helping me pick this out. And I'm really confident and going with the flow here regardless i'm excited so this i got this to a nice consistency it's still a lot thicker than the other one so i might have to actually do a little bit more in here at this point for me it's all about consistency so i'm just trying not to get it so light that it's not gonna 
be vibrant because I really want the color to shine still. The hardest part for me today is going to be the sectioning. Unfortunately, like I said, the ring light stand broke. Like I opened it and it was already broken and they refunded me. That's fine. So I'm not going to be able to set you guys up behind me. But the way you'll see when I section my hair, it's going to be it's going to be hard to see anyways when I'm doing the back. But, you know, I'll do the front like I always do with you guys. So I hope that at the end of the day, this was just just a chill video for you guys. To be honest, uh, the, my mom loved rain and, the, and she actually passed away the morning. I guess it was the morning after my of my 19th birthday or after because it was actually we spent my 19th birthday with her as she was on hospice. Um, but she actually passed away that early the next morning and it was raining and uh, she loved the rain. So like, you know, I'll crack the windows or whatever. So whenever it's raining, it's like uh, I really love rainy days and I feel like she's just there with me and it's special. So this this whole thing has been special. And I was wondering to myself why every time I wanted to come color my hair, it just wasn't working out. I tripped on the dog, but we tripped on each other and I hurt my arm. And just, you know, things and then trying to upload my last video, like the internet was going out and just my phone was acting up. And I'm just like, wow, why does it seem like, you know, this just doesn't want to happen for me. But you know what it turns out? It's because I, right now, I feel like my mom's with me. I feel calmer than I have all week long. And so, it, and it's raining now and I just, and I just think, ah, this is why. This is exactly why. All right, I got my shirt, I got my colors. So I'm gonna give you guys the final conclusion. We're going with it. She's done enough for my hair. The only problem is trying to remix the same colors. I'm happy with that contrast right here. And we don't know how it's gonna react with the greens and yellows in my hair, but I'm happy with that contrast. I hope you guys are too. I still have quite a bit in here, so it's definitely more concentrated. So that you can take that however you want it. You know, as long as you have the ad, and that means this can go a long way, actually. You can just use a little bit of pigment and still get that color, and this can last a long time. So really, at the end of the day, it's how you look at that with the consistency. I did use a lot more Move Mountains. I'm seeing that now. So I might actually pump up the Narwhal. The Narwhal. So I'm going to get changed, section my hair, get the colors mixed, and then you guys will see why I needed contrast in just a second. Ooh. I'm nervous. This one's a really good consistency, but the Narwhal, no matter how, I keep adding conditioner, but I, I kind of maybe want this one to be thicker because it's lighter. I don't know if I'm making sense. I'll see you guys soon. All right, we're back. We're sectioned. I'm probably not going to be super loud because everyone's actually sleeping right now. That's how life is, so it's a little bit later, but here we are, so I'm going to just try not to be too crazy loud, but I guess that kind of follows the theme of the, of the mellow kind of video anyways. <sighs> Sorry, I'm having trouble catching my breath again. All right, so I finally got these to where I'm happy that there's enough contrast. So you can see I had a lot, a lot of playing around with these. So I finally settled on these two right here. Obviously the darker one is, the darker one is Move Mountains. And then I got my bowls ready to go. I'm just gonna get right into it. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys my sectioning. So I am actually gonna go all the way around and do the light sections first. And then I'll go around and do the dark lights broken and everything so I'm going to show you guys what I can and thank you so much for hanging out with me so here's the sectioning you can uh, volunteer an unwilling loved one or just grab a mirror and take your time and do your best I ran around with these in my hair, so you could always section and go do stuff later. I made dinner. So here we are. And don't worry, we'll be able to catch up a lot more when it's dry, so. And I have full permission to stain the counter here since it's going to continue to be my workstation. 
I did end up actually adding quite a bit more of the white conditioner and really playing because this is just so pigmented I really wanted it to have more of a creamier consistency it was just so thick coming out well you guys saw so this is I think going to be good for me and how my hair is so thick and to be honest I'm going to have to still go through I'm not going to be able to just take this and use my hands like on the back and stuff I'm going to have to use a brush because my hair is just so thick but that aside, I just added some conditioner and I showed you guys the colors I'm pretty happy with. You know, the darkness, I want, I got it too. I might, we'll see how this goes. I do still have color left over. And actually the narwhal is a lot fuller than the Move Mountains. So what I might do actually is on my ends of each color, when, well, you'll see what we're doing. So I'm going to go light and dark, lots of contrast going around with this sectioning. And I'm thinking on the ends, I might put the full pigmented color on those ends because how cool would that be to be able to see it with the conditioner and how it goes and with the pigment on the ends. Now remember, I do have lots of green and yellow. I purposely wanted to get like some green kind of teal blues to kind of go that way. So obviously I know that the colors are going to show up different on the yellow and the green and I'm hoping for that. But I still thought it'd be nice to put full pigment on my ends. So that's uh, my plan anyways. I will say that uh, since I had some spare time and I looked up the reviews on Good Die Young a little more on the Narwhal, I'm seeing a lot of people saying that it's just that it's just not gonna doesn't come out for months and months and months and this and that. So at the end of the day, this is this might be actually uh, instead of being scared, I'm actually kind of seeing this as a great opportunity because if that many people are having trouble even with the new formula and how long it stays in their hair. And even when they color over it, they're saying nothing's working. So, I mean, this this is just, I think, all around, I think, fate definitely brought us to this day. Underdog colors, by unbiased or biased decisions about formulas. So, I think this is all around. And absolutely, I think this is all around just great. So, I thought about starting in the back, but I just didn't want to start without you guys. I wanted you guys to see my the reaction and be right here with me. So, here we go. I'm going to be using my small mirror for these up front sections. I am going to use these clips to kind of clip back my sectioning because I did section it straight down. I just kind of had a vision in my head, so I don't know. These little rubber bands I'm not a fan of. I think they just are ripping my hair and pulling, so I don't think I'll be using those again for sectioning. Oh, this is going to be just absolutely so exciting. Whew. All right. Any last words? Nope. Oh wow, that's different though. Oh. No turning back now. I forgot to put petroleum jelly <laughs> around my face. Uh, I did read in a lot of the reviews that it just absolutely stains so bad. And it's probably from the high pigmentation. I did see a lot of people saying that it just comes right out of their, that it just comes off on their sheets and everything like that. So, wow, this is just going to be so cool. Stop looking at you guys so I don't mess up here. I'm already kind of a little too crazy. So this is going on really good. I'm really glad that I did the, uh, like I said, the conditioner. Like I did. It was just so thick. And since my hair is so thick, that was never going to be able to, that was never going to work for me. But this is absolutely perfect how I have it right now to me. I probably even could have done it a little less. And yes, I'm going all the way to my ends, but if I add the pigmentation on the ends. Wow. This is already just an was an awesome idea. Is an awesome idea. Happy even if the struggle is real later. Everyone I might want to make sure it's fully saturated.
<laughs> yes. Get your towel, too. Of course, there's a fly in here with me. Gorgeous. I'm going to go ahead. I just wanted you guys to be a part of this with me. It's beautiful. I'm going to go ahead because I got to get in the other mirror and do all the light pieces. And then I'll show you what it looks like before I do the dark. And then obviously we'll do the dark. So see you soon. You guys, I'm so happy. <sighs> yep. Perfect. All right, hey guys, we're halfway there. I am so worn out and exhausted, but so happy. It's looking beautiful. So I just wanted to show you guys quick. And then I gotta get back to uh, So this is the narwhal, and then I'll go through and put some more on my, I'll put just the straight narwhal on my ends when we're done with this, but just uh, wanted to show you guys where we're at. This is a lot more difficult than I thought it would be, to be honest with you, so give me a second and I'll do the front one dark so you guys get to see that. <sighs> my camera is being so immature, and so is this fly buzzing around me get this in for you guys and then I'll go finish this up because I am absolutely exhausted it's going on really well oh wow there's my I got my contrast this I really need to get my glasses. Let me tell you guys something. This was extremely difficult to do. A lot more difficult than a lot of the hair coloring I've done lately. Oh, I was doing so good, and now I just made a mess. Oh, no. Another box says you can leave it in. Oh, I wish you guys could see that part, sorry. Another, look at that. Isn't that so cool how it's going with my green that's already in my hair? I love it. Well, they said you can process it 30 minutes, minimum 30 minutes, I believe. But this is so dark. So I'm not too, normally my vivids, other ones I'll leave in for such long amounts of time because I, because they're already so light and I really want them to stick. But I don't think I'll have to worry about that with this, with these. But we shall see. It's going on really well. It's just uh, it's dark, so it makes me this dark color like makes me nervous. Ah, oh, jeez. With the contrast, but this is what I wanted. I wanted that contrast. It's just difficult, especially the darker you go, to try not to get them to bleed into each other. To layer this on so thick right now. I could have came back and laid it on more, but oh well. We're in it. It's just so hard for me to see. 
where I'm at right now with no glasses and stuff. This is going on so nice. Definitely should have petroleum jellied up there. <laughs> so I'm gonna go clean this up and finish the rest of my head. Bye. It's finally all in guys. Final looks, narwhal and Move mountain. There you go. Final looks. What do you think? We can talk more tomorrow. I just wanted you, or we can talk more <laughs> once it's rinsed out and everything. I'm gonna definitely go take a break, but I just really wanted you guys to get a good look at the section and how beautiful these colors look. Like section like this, I'm absolutely in love with this uh, sectioning. Yeah, I'm so happy. This was not easy. I, I will tell you guys that. I challenged myself on this one. And I'm really glad I did. And I'm really hopeful for the, the turnout of this. So. Oh, it is so absolutely beautiful. So, yeah. Wow. Okay. I'll see you guys when I wash it out. See, I told you. I can hear the rain. I just wanted to share that with you guys while I'm still processing. I'm going to take all this rain as a sign that my mom is proud of me today. I forgot I want to show you guys before I rinse it out so we could see how much darker it got as it sat. It's been about an hour and a half. This is honestly so surreal that I've even gotten to this point, to be honest. Oh gosh, I'm so sore. I feel like this was worth it. I'm really excited. I halfway through as my ends were getting really dry. So for the move mountains, I just put that straight out of the tube on the ends of the move mountain sections. And on the narwhal sections, I did the same thing. I just took it straight out of the tube for the ends to keep them moisturized and also just to see if there's much of a color difference with that. So it has been in about an hour and a half, which means that this front section's been the longest, all the light sections have been the longest, but since I actually physically got done with all of it, it's been about an hour and a half, so we're gonna, I'm gonna go rinse this out. I actually, I usually use the Ion after color treatment. It helps seal in the cuticle and helps close the cuticle and lock color inside the hair, but it's, uh, it's pretty much all gone. Like, I'm gonna get what I can out of it, maybe use some scissors to cut it, but I really like this stuff. So I'm gonna use freezing water. I'm going to use freezing water just for the sake of all this hard work. Show you guys the back and then I'll see you after I rinse it out. I can't believe we're, I can't believe we're finally at this stage. Seriously. It is very, very pigmented. Here's all how beautiful it is going is so dark. Alright guys, wish me luck. Ready? Ready? Oh, look at... I can instantly tell that we I got the contrast that I was looking for up here. I really wanted it to stand out. So, you know, when your hair is wet, it's going to look a lot darker. And you're not going to really be able to tell right off the bat what it's going to be when it's dry. So I can already, but I can already instantly tell before it dries. I got my contrast I was looking for there. I think this is going to be fun because there's just so many different colors going on. And I'm just loving how this is just such a really pretty contrast here. So it is a lot darker already. 
than I wanted, but I got the contrast that I wanted. So I'm gonna be able to sleep happy with that. This looks absolutely amazing. And I just wanted to say, I did, I only got a little bit um, of that, of my ion stuff out of the tube, but I'm gonna tell you, but honestly, this is so soft. I had noticed right away as I was rinsing it out that my hair just feels like so nice. It's just like, I don't know if it's ever felt this silky. So let's have you guys check out the back while it's wet so we can check that out later. Gosh, I feel like I'm in a dream that I'm actually at this point where I finally washed it out. Well, this is pretty cool and it's still wet so I'm pretty I'm pretty excited to see what the morning brings but yeah just right off the bat smelled great it's super soft I'm really happy about that I didn't have any trouble with it on my hands too much and the tub didn't have any stains for me to rinse out and when I was rinse I did use freezing cold I will tell you guys I used freezing water I don't normally care that much but this time I really wanted to, to give it my 100%. I fully saturated. I mean, this stuff took forever to rinse out with cold water. I just wanted to make sure I gave it my everything I had. So I'm going to go get some rest, get comfy, maybe cuddle up, read a book. My daughter's in a sleep regression, so I'm sure I, <laughs> I'm going to be relaxing at least. I'm going to do my very best to relax. So I hope that after this video or whenever you're doing what you're doing that you get to relax. <clears throat> so I'm gonna let this air dry like I always do overnight. And then I will see you guys in the morning when it is air dried and we will go from there. And thank you so much for spending this time with me. Today was really special kind of day. A really ex unexpectedly special kind of day. And um, I'm really enjoying this serenity I'm giving myself right now so there's a lot of stuff going on under the surface but for the most part even with all the pain I'm in from doing this I feel like it was just so worth it and we don't even know what it looks like yet just finishing this makes me feel better so I'm not gonna lie I'm extremely curious how this is gonna look when it's dry I mean it is gonna be crazy Oh, a little tip before I forget. If you get color on yourself, they used to tell us in beauty school that color takes off color. So you would just, while you're in there shampooing, or I don't shampoo, I just put on like the ion stuff. But before you put on any conditioner or anything, when you're scrubbing the color out, kind of use it and scrub around. I didn't do it so much this time because I'm shaking uh, my neuropathy. I have bad circulation. So cold does horrible things. So I I was uh, not taking too much time to do this, but so I didn't get a, a much off, but you can see my ears are good. And honestly, this did stain my scalp some up here. Just a tiny bit, unless I just didn't like it. But anyways, basically color, color will take off color. So just make sure you're trying to rub around there. Uh, before you put in the conditioner and seal everything up, you know, so that should help take care of a lot of that. Same with like nail polish. Honestly, I've done this before. If you don't have nail polish, remember I just take a clear nail polish or nail polish and I'll put it over um, the nail polish I want to take off and get it really wet or really lathered on there. Just put a coat on there. <laughs> Sorry, my chest. Anyway, so basically I'll put the nail polish on there and take it off and it's off. No nail polish mover needed. So also I didn't have a lot of shedding or any hair breakage or anything like that. So I guess that's it. I'm going to go rest. Uh, I guess I feel bad because you guys will just see me in one second. But hopefully after this or even just pause the video. Why don't you guys pause the video? Take a big breath or rest <sighs> or something. Thank you so much for being here with me. I'll see you guys in the morning. Hello, we're back. I'm starting this off in black and white so I can really show you guys the contrast. I believe I achieved the contrast I wanted and that was the main, the, my main goal. 
I will say really quick before I show you guys the colors, I don't feel like it's done. I don't feel like this is the finished product, but we definitely achieved, uh, we definitely achieved a lot with this. So ready? Here we go. I'm going to show you guys. Let me get in position and show you the guy surprisingly with the colors and three, two, one. What do they think? I guess I'm moving too much. What do you think? I don't feel like it's the finished. I don't feel like it's for me the finished product. Basically, for me, how I'm feeling right now is if this was your guys' hair, I wouldn't be done with it yet. We'd, we'd still have a little work to do to get it to to where I feel like, you know, you could go out and, and feel fresh like a daisy and, you know, you know, cloud nine. Um, So I'm not... <laughs> I've had a little time to process this, you know, it's the next morning. The contrast on top came out really nice. I was expect I was expecting all the different colors. So here I just want to give you guys like a little good view. What we got going on here. See how the sectioning turned out. You know what actually is surprising me the most about this? Really liking the Move Mountains color, to be honest with you in the natural light and and here so so for that so far right off the bat for being the underdog i will tell you guys i do like that color play the back where you start playing with my hair too much and it gets all foofy obviously i haven't styled it i don't style it without you guys so this is just my nice natural you know thick wavy hair going on all my is my hair getting that long i gotta scoot all the way to Timbuktu. We got it. I don't have my glasses. Can you see it? Yeah. So here's the back. So I I'm really in love with how the contrast turned out and the sectioning with the colors. I haven't looked underneath yet, so let me see. You can really see all that. You can really see how the narwhal on the level 10 just really popped this intense, more blue. Any greens that you're seeing from, so that's on the level 10. Any of the other greens you're seeing coming off of that is going to be for my previous yellow and light green hair. So there's, that's quite an intense blue. Now the move mountains, I can't really see this side, how that. I don't know, but this definitely stayed a real consistent, solid color throughout with just some just some hints of change. I this this did what I wanted to. If this was too, if this had too much going on, it wouldn't give me that contrast. This is actually looking a lot prettier than I thought it was. This morning, I was thinking about how it was just too dark, and I and I wasn't really I I, I didn't know how I was feeling about it yet. It was still half damp, and I and uh, first my husband was going to work and. He walked in the room I was like, oh no, I didn't want anyone to see it yet. And he walked in and he really liked it. And then uh, I went to get the kiddos up this down a little bit so that you guys can see the ends. I'll show you all the different sections. So then when I, when I got up, when I got up and got the, or when I got the kids up, the first thing out of my teenager's mouth was, oh my gosh, I really love it. I love that aqua marine or something like that. And he goes, I really love it in the contrast contrast I can't remember if he used the word contrast or if that's just me saying that but that's basically what he said and so that off right off the bat he doesn't normally compliment he does it's not that he doesn't like my hair it's just that he doesn't like hey I love that neon green hair today it's rocking you know so for him to jump out and say how much he liked this so that kind of changed my mood from great how am I gonna fix this I'm I, it's I'm not into it to okay well I'm really you know it's another perspective so that's cool so please, I hope you guys are already leaving comments down below uh, about what your initial reactions are before I go and put negative things in your head. And it's and it's fine. I, I'm just not personally satisfied. And me might not be able to see on camera why, but at the end of the day, I did achieve what I wanted. We did something different. And I'm really digging this move mountain. It's, it's giving me oil slick kind of, all, all this together, down here is giving me oil slick, especially where I put the Move Mountains 
right on the very ends. It's almost like a black. So I'm really glad that I lightened that up a little bit. Because that on my level 10s right here, it's already dark, but that would have been near black. I'm really digging now that I'm talking to you guys, I'm seeing this oil sheen slick. So you know, like with any hair color, you want to try to give it 24 hours because especially a big change. I went way darker than I'm used to lately. And so that kind of threw me off. And I, and so I just wasn't sure how I was going to feel. I was trying to be optimistic. And I know I have quite a bit of hair dye, but I'll let, I guess let's get right into it. Oh, initial thoughts, positive thoughts. I originally thought Move Mountains was going to be my downfall. I really am enjoying the Move Mountains. That's that's where I am on that. Firewall, surprisingly, became the one I'm not so happy about. And that could be due to operator malfunction or user error, of course. Uh, and everyone's hair is also different. But I was just surprised that the Narwhal is what I was, I'm was not that pleased with and that I might need to do maybe fix. So you can already see there's a lot of different colors going on. That's fine. And like I said, I was expecting that because now we're really going to see what it would look like on a level 10 versus, you know, with other colors in the hair. So I thought this was a great, a great thing to do. If I would have wanted it, you know, this solid, I would have bleached it, obviously, uh, into more of a solid color. But I really wanted to go with what we had. That being said, we're going to come up here. So I left this in for a good hour and a half and you guys saw I started in this section up front and we did just bleach my hair twice in one week and I assumed it would be porous. Oh, you can see. oh no, that it just came out. I didn't miss a spot. Okay. Uh, so I did leave it in the longest and this, I don't know if you, you might not be able to see on the camera, but this actually is blonde right here. Like it rinsed out, it came off. I really, I maybe, I, there's some reasons for this. Like the oil's in my hair already. I didn't put the color on fast enough. Or maybe I'm just too used to the Manic Panic Amplifieds and uh, not putting conditioner in them. So maybe just I put too much conditioner into the product. I still feel like with as high as this pigment was, it should have stuck because I put conditioner into the Move Mountains and that, and that didn't have too much problems. Still, still a little bit, but... So as far as that, it's probably my fault. So that's why I said I don't know if we're done. This is the longest part I had the narwhal in. We did put conditioner down. And it really, really popped this bright blue, not teal at all. Just bright, bright blue. I'm not saying I do love the blue, but uh, if you were going for what's more advertised on the box or, uh, well, on the camera, it looks more like the box, but when you... In real life, in real life, this is more of like a teal. There should be a little more green to it. You know, I, I would have been expecting it to come out, you know, more like this did where it kind of hit my yellow. Uh, but instead we have this real more like, like an aquamarine, like bright blue. So that's interesting to me on the level 10. And, and also on the level 10 is where the color actually came out. I know that you might, might not be able to see it that well, but a lot of it, it just came right out. So you got... So that all right there, that's already making it patchy for me. I can see why people are conflicted about that because it is more of a blue. And if you're looking for like a teal like I was originally, like or thinking in my head more of a teal, like even more like this. This is, you know, what I was, what, what we were going for. And this is kind of, you know, you get it. I can see how people would be biased about that part of it. Because this is more, see, I would, I really wanted, I would have, I didn't know it was going to be this blue. I would have assumed that it would have been just a brighter version of this. Because obviously I, this is, I knew this was going to be more of a green because of the green and yellow. So you get it. So that right there is kind of throws it off. You can see when I put my hair back, it looks like I actually, this is the other interesting part. As we've been talking, the Move Mountains has looked green, yes? Now when I go to pull it back like it's in a ponytail... They both look blue. The Move Mountains, right on the level 10, which was the lightest, looks extremely, to me, blue. There's even blue on my scalp where it didn't rinse out. And that looks very blue, which I don't understand that, to be honest with you. Uh, I didn't see. I knew there was blue in the Move Mountains, but not that much blue, you know. I apologize for my hair looking so damaged. It actually, it does, it does feel soft. It doesn't feel too damaged. It's just with my waves, my wavy hair and my frizz, you know, I got to 
at least put a little something something in there. I just haven't because I don't like doing that when I'm about to give a review. I'd rather wait and let you guys know if I'm going to put anything in. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like to see how the product rolls. So this is actually a good way to see all the different colors that we're working with. So we got, so look at how blue that is. So look, so that is the narwhal on the roots there. And you can see how that goes. But then, so you can see the narwhal. And then this is the Moo Mountains. And it's still, the Moo Mountains is looking so blue here. And then you come over here. And this is actually the Move Mountains zigzag from that. And you can see, look at that. A little blue like that. You can see how the Move Mountains looks more green, greenish over here. And then on the ends, it, it's almost like a, in the ends, it almost turns like a black oil slick color. This is where I, remember on some of my ends, on the ends, I put the full on pigment. I, there was no conditioner weighing it down. So you definitely see the Move Mountains. It is a dark, dark, but there's like a blue tint. It's a, it's an interesting color, but when you can't figure out blue or green, uh, it might confuse people. I think it's kind of cool. It's given me a lot of oil slick. I'm slowly falling in love with this, with this. It's just not completed in my eyes. So here's what we're going to do, because I don't feel like this is completed enough for me, And uh, but I do believe we accomplished what we came here to do today. So... What I'm thinking, and why don't you guys leave your comments below, is I'm gonna, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna section this and show you while I'm talking. So what I'm gonna do is I think we're just gonna come back here. And I can't decide, I can't decide if I wanna take and do the full, and retake the narwhal and do the, and put it on fully pigmented where I already have the narwhal to see it, how it's going to take without me adding conditioner to it and see if it's going to stick there. I understand I just colored my hair so that, so I, I might decide if I'm going to maybe clarify it a little bit or, or get it more porous and then just throw it right back over so we can really see if it can take over and cover where it came out and just get, see, it's like back here, you can see right there. That is, it's like just faded just came right off of my hair. Another option would be to just leave it and move on or fix it with another color or another brand of color. I, I'm really wondering, as long as we're sitting here with this, if I, sh I feel like I should maybe put the narwhal on without any conditioner and just put it full on so we can really see how that's working. Cause it's just gonna kind of bother me in the back of my head. You know, what was it me? Is it the product? But I will say that even when my hair hasn't been that porous and all different conditions, uh, I haven't I haven't had a hair color not stick after being in that long to this extent. Keep in mind when, when, while you guys are looking at this, because when I looked up Narwhal and Move Mountains online, there's just really not a whole punch. I couldn't find too many different pictures on Instagram or anything to see what I was getting myself into while it was uh, processing in my hair. I say that uh, after looking at just, you know, image searching on Google even, that when you're seeing all these different teals and stuff, at least on my level 10, it is coming out blue. It is, it is a beautiful blue. It's a blue I've looked for. But it's not, it's not good. This is what I would have been expecting more on, on its own. Just, just even that most subtle hint of a teal like this is what I would have expected. Not quite this level of just a neon blue. Because to, to be honest with you guys, I, I the colors look beautiful. But I had, I had those blues up there. And I really wanted to not mix my own. I wanted just to try a straight up teal. So it was teals by other brands that I had been thinking about, but you know, we went to Sally's and we rolled with it and that's fine. We're going to keep rolling with it. The more I'm talking to you, the more this is fun. It's like an oil slick. So I really think if we went and put the full pigment, because if you guys look right here, you see these really bright blue ends as well. That's where I put the full, that's where I put the full pigmented narwhal when I was all done. I love this. Beautifully obnoxious. Oh, you guys, that's us. <laughs> That's us. Speaking of which, thank you guys for uh, all. Thank you guys for all your comments on this channel. You guys have just been all so supportive. Of, not just me, but you know, uh, just everyone as a whole. And it's just, um, yeah, it, it's really, 
It's really something. You guys are something else. It's 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 the most like heartwarming thing to see how everybody's just kind of coming together and um and it just it really warms my heart and it, it really makes me wake up and really double try to be just in a better mindset and stay positive because I just think of all of you out there and I open up my phone and I see your comments and I see that a lot of you are going through similar things even with each other. One of you pointed that out in the comments. And so I really do hope that you guys keep commenting and sharing. Just in case somebody out there comes across the channel, sees the comments, and we're going through the same thing, then hey, so don't feel comfortable commenting. I totally understand that. And it's all about whatever makes you comfortable. But if you do just need someone to talk to or you're going through something, uh, just go ahead. My Instagram's in the link or in the description below. And you can just go on there and you can totally instant message me. That's the, or direct message me. That's kind of the best way right now. Otherwise, feel free to comment below, whatever it is. It, it doesn't matter if you tripped over a rock that day and it's just, and it's like your, your whole world is like, just feels over. Comment. We got you. I got you. And I bet everybody else here has got you too. Nothing but positive vibes over here. Haven't subscribed and you are just here hearing me ramble as usual. Uh, why don't you subscribe and hang out with the rest of us? So here we are. Um, this is good news that I'm starting to stare at my hair a lot because that means I don't hate it as much as I did in the awesome parts where almost everybody hates it because the drying process and not having it lived in that that right away Some, sometimes can be gratifying but sometimes it's pretty stressful so comment below what you think uh i, I wasn't really sure what i was going to do until i started talking to you guys i forgot i wanted to keep showing you guys this and then uh why don't you and then i'm thinking i'll post this and then i'm thinking i will hop right on to a styling video and we'll grab all my lane brush and see what this looks like when it's nice and straight, the way I feel like the waves in my hair can kind of give it a different effect. You know, you can see all the cocker spaniel kind of waves and it just, and you can also see even right now, some of this color, or a lot of that, the blue color is just not, it's just not maybe popping like it should. So the good news is, is that we're going to have a lot, lot more hair coloring and bleaching than I thought we were going to this month, which is great. I just don't feel complete. I don't feel like my hair is complete. We're going to do that. I'm going to style it and then I'll check out your comments below and see what your guys' feelings are. Uh, I'm leaning towards let's put the narwhal back in, just full on, full pigment, you know, uh, right on this and see what comes out of, and right back on that and see what comes out of it after that and just leave the move mountains how it is uh otherwise if you guys want me to do that and maybe add more move mountains on to the ends because it is so much darker here it's really giving just a really pretty dark color you know it's so while i'm doing that if you want me to put that on the ends otherwise i was thinking just full full on full strong narwhal so we can get a proper review on that because i just don't know if it was operator malfunction my hair is super soft i will say that i did have quite i did have some hair actually come out after i talked to you guys when i was trying to put or when i was uh just kind of put my fingers through it i did have some hair kind of falling out little breakage uh it seems totally soft and fine now so i don't know if that was an oil over more Oil for moisture. Don't mock me. I'm supposed to have my back. Oh, it doesn't. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. I mean, I do that I'm a chiropractor anymore because like move back out here. Insurance doesn't cover it. So so any tips at home? Let me know. <laughs> I need to go back to physical therapy, but I just, uh, I just got too many, too many other appointments. I gotta like micromanage myself. Ah, I'm off track. Unsung hero for me was the Move Mountains, but, 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 I put conditioner in, I lightened it up. And so remember that because where I did put the full pigment, pigment of that right here on this, the ends right here, you can see that is a lot darker than what I have going on. So just know if you did pull it, put it fully on, it might come out even darker than that. See how 
right here. See how dark that is? I put it on the ends. So if that's something you want me to do, throw the narwhal in full pigment and see how that turns out. If you want me to also put some more of this on my ends, you guys can see how dark that gets while we're at. That's fine too. I'm going to style it. I'm going to come back. We're going to see how it looks styled and straightened. And then we're going to probably chuck some color in it after that. I just really want to get your guys' opinions first. So drop comments down below. I'm going to show you guys. <laughs> I think I've already said all this. I'm sure I've already said this, but I'm going to show you a clip. I'm going to show you a clip of me out in the sunshine. And then I'm going to show you a clip of me out by the window. And then I'm going to say a quick goodbye because I've been probably doing what I didn't realize was an outro because I just hang out with you guys and I I forget that we're not, a, I forget that I'm recording and I actually have to like, you know, send this out into the world as I'm just sitting here just shooting up, shooting the breeze. Stop, I'm gonna sing good times. I'm not a singer, I used to play bass. I will own that. Ugh. Ugh. All right, well, uh, but the only other thing I will say is I have strawberry leopard, here it is. I didn't put this in yet because we're probably gonna be putting more color over and obviously if I put a protector over it, it won't take. But, 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 however, that's a fun word besides but. However, I have a strawberry leopard color sealing spray for vivid color. If you guys want, I have tried their shampoo and conditioner. I can uh, do a review on that for you guys sometime. But I do use this, it smells amazing. I love this smell, it's really hard not to spray it on me right now. This is probably one of my favorite things I've gotten. Uh, I've had it for quite a while too. For quite a while too. So it just kind of gives it some hydration. And Anyway, check this out. Check this out, or after we color it, I'll actually use it and I can give you a little more info on it. But I love this and it smells great and it's just supposed to help, you know, just kind of keep that color in. It's got some bra leave in it's got some leave in and neurobonds and stuff so i can't wait to see what you guys think hang in there and i will see you in the next video and i'm actually really happy about this because we're gonna have a lot of fun even after i fix this it's just time to move on again so uh i'm really i'm, I'm honestly oh my gosh i need to get off here i'm just way too excited to see what you guys think so much love a couple quick clips and then i will see you in the next video so yes Ooh. please don't stop being awesome this video meant a lot to me. It really did. So, uh, much love. You can really see out here in more of the natural light. It's It really does have beautiful colors going on. I just need to, I think, touch it up a little bit. Because the potential is there. It just doesn't feel finished. But out in the natural light, it's got uh, a lot more going on. And it's still wavy. I haven't styled it, so. So I believe styled and everything this would be tolerable. The lighting makes a difference no matter where you are. You can definitely see the waves in my hair. So that doesn't make things look prettier. It's like either I have to have curls or straight or like you know more shaped to my waves otherwise i just look like a pomeranian went swimming <laughs> and the little you know how that or not pomeranian the cocker spaniels ears how they get all that's what my hair looks like but yeah the colors are there i think that part of it went really well so. i do have to say the move mountains is very pretty and these do have a lot of, this actually is really pretty in the light. I think we just need to touch it up. Now you can definitely see in the natural, like how blue it is if I go like this. Do I know the hair dye on my scalp? Look how blue, look at how blue the, the mountain so th this is in the natural light. This is in the natural light on the level 10, right on my roots. And you can see how this is a lot, how the move mountains is a lot more blue looking here in this light, especially right next to each other. 
And then you come down here to the Move Mountains and the natural, look like how it looks almost black, green, like blue. And then you can see when you let it down, it kind of turns more, it looks more like a forest green. So. I think it's fun when the light plays with the colors in your hair. This almost brings that oil slick feeling to it. You know, like the oil slick colors. Just wanted you guys to see it in the natural light. My arms are tired. Have a beautiful day.